Ladies and gentlemen, our final main card event brings us three four-minute rounds of mixed martial arts, 160-pound weight limit. The bout sponsor is Knuckles USA, and the man in charge is Big Dan Mergliata. Introducing first from the little corner, out of the jungle gym, trained by Robert Aviles and Justin Garcia. Wearing the black and white trunks, he weighed it at 159 and a half pounds. From the Bronx, New York, welcome please, Joe Aviles. And across the ring, ready for action from the AMA Fight Club, trained by Mike Constantino. Wearing the black and gold, he weighed in at 160 pounds. From Roselle, New Jersey, welcome please, Mike Medrano. Mike is one of those fighters who is much, much better than his record. Medrano, I just noticed, he has a brand Dan on his Blakely. shoulder. Please Not a tattoo, a brand, like a cattle brand. Well, the guy is a bull. There's no question about that, what, I mean. Man. I had a couple of friends in college who did that. Members of black fraternities. I can't make out the symbol, but a little crazy in my book. Yeah, Medrano's actually a school teacher. Don't look like any school teacher I ever had, yeah. I'll tell you that. That's right. That guy's a beast. Avales got good hands. He had a knockout over Rich Point A, one of my training partners a couple years ago. Uh, an upset at the time. Point A was coming off a victory. Had established himself here in Ring of Combat, and Avales knocked him out. Kevin Roddy, I was trying to think of the name. Rich Point A had knocked out Kevin Roddy. Which is tough to do. Kev Kevin's a good fighter. It's good submission fighter, tough fighter. And Avalis knocked out Point A. Very surprisingly in that fight. This guy's stalking one another. He's got a really fast jab, does Avalis. Nice right hand. He does, and Madrano's having a little trouble getting inside on him. Yep. But that's Madrano's game, so. Avalis is doing a great job. You watch his footwork of cutting off the cage from Madrano. He's not letting Madrano get space to work in. And he has a definite game plan. You can see his game plan is to keep jabbing, throw it from a, a distance. You see there, Madrano just a little short. Because Avalis is keeping good distance, of course. Well, if one know, of those overhand rights lands. Right, uh, Madrano right now is not really loading up with the right hand. He's more chopping with it, just trying to find that range. Look at the face of Mike Madrano, man. He wants to knock out Joseph Avales. Nice inside low kick, right hand combination. Jesse from Knuckles USA. Mike Madrano has the look of a fighter in the cage. Oh, no question. Joseph Avales looking very comfortable as well. Yeah, Avales, two and one record, and he's very relaxed in there. Oh, nice they right traded by Avales. Well, and he ate one too, so these guys both giving and taking. And it's Mike Pedrano smiling in there. That jab keeping Mike just at bay. Good footwork for both of them. They're both keeping good rhythm in their feet. That's why you see a lot of these punches missing by just a little bit. It's not the hands that are doing the work, it's their feet that are keeping the distance. Very good defense. Nice looping left by Aviles. Of course, the more you punch loops, the less power it's gonna have. Madrano, of course, can get away with that because there's just so much mass in his arm. Most of us, our arms are not that thick so the weight doesn't transfer into the punch. Uh, Madrano has Avalis puts, pushed up against the fence, trying to land those knees to the, to the legs. Going for the single, and he gets Avalis down. Avalis has got one arm around for the guillotine, but I, 
he must have felt like he was going down no matter what, because he jumped the oh, guard. Ground and pound by Mike Medrano. Nice job by Avales is standing up out of that. I'm impressed because he took some shots. Avales doesn't even look the least bit dazed. Nope. And he's stalking right nice now. Nice left hand. Interesting first round. You know, the difference in that round could have been that takedown. That just happened. I, I would dare say that was the difference in the round. Avalis controlled the distance for the whole round. Landed some nice shots. Madrano never really hit a clean shot. But take down two or three ground and pound shots. Put the round in your pocket. And we see Mike Constantino of AMA Fight Club over there in Mike's corner. There all day. Joe Avalis out of the jungle gym. Very well represented here in New Jersey. Always staples at the shows, Pro and Amy. And my favorite piece of equipment at recess. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no head movement, Mike. See Commissioner Aaron Davis over there enjoying the fights. Punch through him. Try that. Try that. His Mike, with Nick Mike, Lembo. His lead leg is wide open. Legendary. Wide open, Nick Lembo. It's what actually amazing to, to just see what MMA yeah. has become. To oh, see the UFC yeah. selling out 20,000 seat arenas. Kill that lead leg. Even in the Why midst of the economy that we're going through. Oh, right. and, through and let me tell you, they're not cheap tickets. And people want to see it. And that's, hey, that's what it's all about. Supply and demand. The, the demand is there. Absolutely. The demand is there. People can't get enough of MMA. It's sport. It's still growing. Oh, Mike driving for that takedown. Tried to bounce him off the cage, but Avales did something real good there. He loosened up his body so that when he hit the cage, there was no rebound. Yeah, if you stay relaxed. tight right there, your body bounces off the cage. He just relaxed and let himself sink into the cage. Very nice technique by Avales. And you see he comes out with the elbow off the clinch. Very nicely done. Counters the low kick with the right hand. The best counter to a low kick, straight right hand. Like to see Madrano keep his hands oh. up. Oh, Madrano is out. Hold a knee. Put Madrano out. Did you just hear me say what I said? I'd like to see Madrano keep his hands up. No sooner did I let those words out of my mouth than Avales lands the flying knee kick to the face. My God. And puts Madrano out cold. Avales will be suspended in the state of New Jersey. I can guarantee you that because he threw about 10 unnecessary punches after the, fu after the referee, Dan Maragliata, stepped in. Yeah, you know, it happens really fast. The fighter just goes down. Oh. The kick. He didn't need to throw those 10 shots. Nah, but that was the Dan Henderson special right there. You know, the problem is uh, I don't think he'll be suspended or anything because... No, you know, I, as I see it on replay, I don't yeah. think so either. It's a tough call. And, and I thought that he threw a few more punches after Dan Maragliata grabbed a hold of him. Nah, he was yeah, pretty much pulled off there, but what an amazing victory by Joseph Avila. This guy, that was a scary knockout. Absolutely. I mentioned earlier the knee kick. Ah, that replay. Then he just throws, but you could see that Madrano was already out. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout was stopped at 52 seconds of the s second round. The winner by knockout, he came out of the blue corner, Joe Aviles. Our bout winner, congratulations from our bout sponsor, Knuckles USA. Jesse from Knuckles USA congratulating our bout sponsor, Joe Aviles out of the jungle gym. Joe is trained by Robert Aviles and Justin Garcia, our bout winner. Well, Aviles got a killer instinct. There's yeah, no I'll question about what, that. He might have a little too much of a killer instinct. He might hear, he might not get suspended, but I guarantee he's gonna hear something from Nick Lambo.